Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Glossy Philosophy. My name is Jansen Minman and today you are tuned in for a Three Ways Wednesday. Today we are talking all about striped t-shirts. Now, no matter if your striped t-shirt is navy and white, white and navy, black and white, white and black, whatever the combination is, a striped t-shirt will take you many places from casual to elevated every day even a little bit more sophisticated. So before we get started, I just want to talk about the t-shirt that I'll be featuring, which is from Bowdoin. And I love Bowdoin for their t-shirts and anything jersey knits. They are just so glorious. I know I've mentioned a specific Bowdoin dress many times on this channel, but they also do really wonderful knits and t-shirts. So let's get into the outfits. Outfit number one is the most casual option. So this is a great elevated every day or casual chic vibe. This is the outfit that you are wearing when you are running all those errands, when you are cooking all the food for the family, when you are on the floor and you're just like that busy mom on the go, woman on the go, you don't have to be a mom, and you just need an outfit that works, that looks really good, you look pulled together, you look like you have your life in order, and this is it. So we have our striped t-shirt. We have a light wash denim because we are in May and we are transitioning into shorts weather. May is a great time to break out that lighter wash denim. This one's really nice. It's from Cut From The Cloth. It does not have any distressing. You can choose if you want to roll up the bottom or not. And I also really like that it's a straight fit instead of like a skinny or a flare or anything like that. It's just an ankle straight fit. It does loosen up a little bit throughout the day, so just so you're aware for fitting purposes, but otherwise I find that they're super comfortable and I can wear them for many days without feeling like I need to wash them to get that fit back. The t-shirt again is from Bowdoin. It is a little bit on that boxier side, which I think is really fun for spring and summer. It has a little bit more of that casual, playful side. And then we have this amazing utility jacket from Ever Eve. So this one is like in a linen color. And I love the big pockets. They're def it's definitely a camp style utility. Um, there are no buttons anywhere on the sleeve. So if you want to wrench them up, you just kind of pull them up. And then all of a sudden you're exposing your wrist. So if you are a bracelet girl, then that's what you do. You just add a couple bracelets in to even emphasize anything else or bring in another color that could be really fun. I've decided to go with some statement earrings. These are also from Ever Eve and they are woven. They have a little bit of that mustard and a little bit of the cream. So mustard is such a great color for spring and I think also for summer. Now what are we wearing on our feet and what kind of bag are we carrying? It depends on what you're doing that day. If you have a lot of errands to run, then I think something really classic like a Kate Spade bag is a great way to go. This one is a crossbody, also a shoulder bag, has lots and lots and lots of room. Pebbled leather has a little bit of pink in there, so it's definitely very feminine, while also everything kind of speaks to one another. Another great option would be something in an envelope clutch style. This one is also from Kate Spade from many, many years ago. It is in a coral color. And I think coral and navy are just such a killer combination in the spring and summer. So that's a really fun way to go. Even though we do have a little bit of the mustard up here, everything's still talking to each other because nothing's really stealing the show. You're just adding in pops with your accessories, but the main outfit itself is very neutral. What are we wearing on our feet? I'm going to be wearing my Dolce Vita shoes. Now these are really comfortable and so fun. They have so much braiding detail along the side of the shoe and also on the top and they are like a platform wedge. How comfortable is this going to be? It's going to be amazing. So you're going to be able to spend like all day at the zoo or all day doing whatever you need to do, running around, getting in and out of the car, getting the kiddos in and out of the car, just doing your busy life and you are going to look fabulous in this whole ensemble pulled together, again, elevated every day, outfit number one. Outfit number two is great for those days in May 
when it gets really hot because even in the Midwest we do have those days of like 80 90 degrees all of a sudden in May and no one's prepared for it well this outfit can help you make that transition and you can absolutely add either the camp jacket from Ever Eve or the denim jacket from J. Crew, which is coming in the next look on top of this if it does kind of immediately cool down for whatever reason but we are going with those 80 degree days, those 90 degree days, and taking this into summer with us. So we have our striped shirt, and then we have a colorful linen blend skirt from J. Crew Factory. We've popped a lot of different colors, but everything again is talking to each other, and we're hitting quite a few trends as well. So we definitely have the nautical vibe going on on top with the Breton top from Bowdoin. And then we've got some wooden detail from Ever Eve in our necklace. Really nice and chunky. Plays really well with the chunkier stripes going on, but also not competing with them either. A little bit of gold here. Gold is great for spring and summer, summer especially. And then we're adding in a little bit of a stone neck, or not a necklace, a stone bracelet. So remember, Anytime you can emphasize your wrists and your ankles, those are the smallest parts of your body and it just draws the attention of the viewer or the person looking at you and it just makes you look long and lean and slim. All good things. So especially when you're wearing a short sleeve or something down to the elbows, it's a really fun way to draw the viewer's attention and also kind of balance it out. I went with a really chunky one because my necklace is chunky and the white stripe itself is kind of chunky. So I think everything balances with the visual weight of this. The skirt is also taking up quite a bit of that visual space because it is a very highly saturated green, but it's not in a pattern and it's also in a very classic shape. So that kind of takes it down a notch. If this was in like almost like a circle skirt or something like that, that would take up a little bit more visual space. But because it is kind of a fitted preppy style skirt, it brings it back just a little bit. What are we wearing on our feet and what kind of handbag are we using? Again, it depends on what you're doing, but I'm going really casual with this look. So I'm going with a dressy sandal from Mark Fisher. This one is a leather one and it's almost in like my skin tone. So it carries the line really nicely from top to bottom. My legs look long and lean, but it adds a little bit of that sophistication to an otherwise pretty casual outfit. And if I can, again, I'm gonna go with a little envelope clutch and a coral because all of these colors speak to each other and it just looks really festive and fun. Even though the skirt is a bright green, it's not fighting with the coral. I don't look like Christmas either, which is very important to me in the summer not to look like Christmas. However, if that doesn't really fit with what I'm doing that day, then I'm going to go back to my Kate Spade bag in that pebble leather with a little bit of pink in there because this is such a great neutral. It goes with everything. Or the other option would be a woven crossbody bag which is definitely on my wish list. I just currently don't own one. So a woven would be like ultimate. And then otherwise I would say, go for that pop of coral or just go really, really kind of monochrome with a bag that's in a pinky brown color that would tie everything together and also match your sandals really, really nicely. So that is outfit two. Outfit three is the perfect travel outfit or airport outfit or anytime you're feeling a little bit sassy or you just want to kind of level up that striped t-shirt. So this is a really fun outfit that kind of plays with being casual and a little bit more dressy. So we have a longer skirt with obviously a little leg detail from Z Supply but it's in a jersey, so super comfortable. Definitely going to move with you no matter what you're doing. Also really great for car rides because again, it's jersey, it's not going to wrinkle. And it's also really good for trains, planes, and boats as well. Because of that slit, it gives you a lot of mobility and a lot of ability to just move and find yourself in awkward situations as you do when you travel and you have to sit for long periods of time. 
you're wearing your striped t-shirt and instead of going with like a chunkier necklace which you could absolutely do depending on where you're going that makes it a little bit more casual if you add a bunch of layers of more delicate jewelry this is actually all one necklace from every eve with a little bit of a wooden detail then you have that summer vibe you have that kind of wood natural stone naturalness vibe going on but you've also added in a little bit more of that thinner metal so you have that shine which is really great especially when you're playing with more casual materials and then you add a denim jacket to not take it so sophisticated that it doesn't make any sense anymore what are we wearing on our feet and what kind of bag are we carrying as always it depends on what's going on during said wearing of the outfit but in a great world I would be wearing the Dolce Vita shoes because it gives you just a little bit of height which I think the skirt needs because it is on the longer side however if this is an airport outfit then I would definitely go for a dressy sandal in either a black or a gold I think that would look stupendous but if it's not for an airport then I would definitely go for something like this like if you're going to the zoo or you're just doing a bunch of errands that day something like that now what kind of bag I again I want to pop a little bit of a color so an envelope clutch in a coral would be fantastic because we've got a couple blues going on but if you need to carry a little bit more then try a green this green uh, bag is from Tory Burch got it at Nordstrom Rack last year and it is very similar to a Kate Spade bag holds quite a bit of stuff but not too much stuff I don't think a really big bag works with this unless it's going to be the San Rev and you can put it on your back but I think keeping the bag really classic and just kind of playing with your accessories makes it really, really fun. And again, changing up your shoes gives you a different vibe for different scenarios. So that is outfit three. Thank you guys so much for watching this Three Ways Wednesdays. As always, you do not have to own these exact clothes. These are just style formulas to get you started and get your brain thinking. I like to take those key pieces that... I think are really helpful in everybody's wardrobe or something that you should just go out and try and kind of mix and match them again with other pieces that I think people either have in their wardrobe or need in their wardrobe for some fun um, for some fun style combinations. I do fashion videos every Wednesday, beauty videos every Friday, and on Mondays very specific things and tips and tricks to make your life just a little bit easier, go a little bit smoother. So make sure you hit that thumbs up, make sure you hit the subscribe, and I'll see you very soon in the next one. Bye!